Paige Sinclair is on her way up. Ah, shit. She's the best reporter this building's ever seen, but god damn, is that woman a pain in the ass. Colleagues, your eyes do not deceive. You may find my gown overly formal for the workplace, but that is because I am, as of today, formally a member of this vaulted institution. As I'm to be wed tonight, and the newsroom is no room for a domesticated woman, I bid you farewell. Okay, goodbye. Yes, mine was a storied run as the star reporter for the reporter. Front page page, they called me. Well, we'll miss you, Paige. Indeed. My shoes don't feel easy. My left foot striking a more robust silhouette than her starboard sister, but I cannot prolong my engagement. After all, time, as they say, is a river without banks. Time may not have banks, but this periodical certainly does. Maximilian Banks at my service. Ugh, Maximilian Banks. I may lack your nose for news, but I've got an eyeball for a highball. Why, this man couldn't string together two clauses without ending on a preposition. Now, I don't know what you're referring to. You could fill a library with all the things you don't know. In fact, they do. They call them libraries. Guys, we're trying to work here. No matter, I shan't be staying. My sweet betrothed, Baxter Bellamy, awaits with champagne to show for me directly to my nuptials. And I didn't think I'd visit long, so I left him in the car with the windows up. <laughs> Good, I've got business to attend to as well. I'll have you know it's almost time for my mid-morning confabulation with a former stage mother to the stars, Mrs. Carol Himmelfarb Richardson. You've been taking those phone calls? Yes, she is as loony as a Canadian dollar, but she is a scintillating conversationalist. <laughs> Oh, what about the conversation scintillates? She calls every day to see if we have any information on her dead daughter. The answer's always no. Sounds like a scoop. It's not. It's a pop star who overdosed. Open and shut case. All the better for opening and shutting. Why do you have that? Baxter, my boy, my dear, sweet, beautiful bridegroom, best put the champagne on ice. I've got a story that simply demands my attention, and I just couldn't marry you before it's settled. I'd only be distracted, which isn't fair to you or me. Oh, darling, I've already committed to being your wife. What, you need to hear a few measly words? Words, what I do. Does that satisfy? I do, I do, I do. And I do want you to wait for me to ring you again shortly. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. Oh. <laughs> now, as to the girl, I smell beans. Spill them. The girl's name was Sharon Lynn. It's Sarah Lynn. Hmm.